Hey guys, thanks for watching Beyond Science, it's Mikey Chen. You know, asteroids and earthquakes aren't the only thing we have to be worried about anymore because apparently the moon is also against us. Recent research has concluded that the moon is actually on a collision course with Earth, meaning the moon will eventually be pulled towards Earth and destroy everything. So yeah, that beautiful thing you were staring at on your first romantic candle lit picnic date, yeah, that thing's gonna kill us. But before you get nightmares about yet another thing that might crash into Earth, let me calm you down by saying that this isn't gonna happen for another uh, 65 um, a billion years. So by then, you're probably living out your trillionth life through reincarnation, have already downloaded your consciousness into a robot, or is happily part of the Borg Collective. But I, I don't know, it's gonna take a long time, but just the thought that the moon is gonna crash towards us one day, that really bothers me. And scientists figured this whole thing out because the moon is actually spinning away from Earth at about 3.8 centimeters a year, and has been moving away ever since it was formed over 4.5 billion years ago. The reason for the moving away of the moon is due to the movement of the tidal bulge around Earth, which basically puts energy into the moon's orbit and then makes the moon's orbit bigger. The moon then slows the rotation of the Earth by about four hours every billion years, which seems like nothing now, but it's kind of a big deal. According to Dr. Jason Barnes, a planetary scientist at the University of Idaho, the Earth's orbital rotation will slow down to match the moon's orbital period because the moon is slowing the Earth down bit by bit. When that day comes, which is of course billions of years from now, the moon will stop moving outwards. At that time, the sun is also expected to go through a phase where its core will become a burnt out remnant white dwarf, while its outer layers will expand outwards. When this happens, it will take energy from the Earth-Moon system and cause the moon to start moving slowly towards Earth. Then billions of years after that, the Earth and moon will collide and Earth will be a big flaming ball of, well, just flames and destruction. But guys, I'm telling you right now, there's absolutely nothing to worry about because I firmly believe that the apocalypse will kill us all way before that happens. Just a ray of sunshine, right? Next up, this is really cool. Well, tragic, but cool. Researchers have recently discovered a new cave in Israel that once held the Dead Sea Scroll. And although the cave was looted a long time ago, it's still a big deal that archeologists found evidence that the scrolls were indeed once there. According to Oren Gutfield, an archeologist at the Hebrew University's Institute of Archeology span and the director of the excavation, this exciting excavation is the closest we've come to discovering new Dead Sea Scrolls in 60 years. Until now, it was accepted that the Dead Sea Scrolls were found only in 11 caves at Qumran, but now there is no doubt that this is the 12th cave. Although at the end of the day, no scroll was found, and instead we only found a piece of parchment rolled up in a jug that was being processed for writing, the findings indicate beyond any doubt that the cave contained scrolls that were stolen. This finding has indicated to researchers that there could be other significant finds in the Judean desert, so now it's just a race against an antiquity thieves who are also searching for the same things. I really wish in these cases the researchers and the thieves could somehow work together. I mean, I've mentioned in the past, I have no idea what happens if, if I happen to find a priceless treasure. I don't even know who to call. I don't know if I'm going to be compensated or not. I think the national treasure people, they, they got a ton of money. But really, I have no clue what the finder gets if they turn the treasure over to the authorities, to the governments. So I'm just saying, let's say the government pays a good price for the lost treasure regardless of who finds it, then wouldn't that encourage uh, those treasure hunters or antiquity thieves to instead sell the loot to the government instead of going through some like black market channels? This way it could be showcased to everybody in the world and we can all enjoy it. I mean, it's not like the museums aren't charging a good amount of money for tickets. Of course, I'm just talking about artifacts that the government does not want to put away in Warehouse 13. Just an idea. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you later.